so cold outside. It's freezing. Headed to Fasted Car. It is like actually late because the boys decided they wanted to eat right now. So I had to wait for them to eat. So it's like almost oh. seven already. We're headed to Fasted Cardio. It is week. This is our last week. This is our last this is week. Week four. They can't see we us. guys just took my pre-workout we're headed to the gym both super tired right now but we're gonna go kill this workout we've only got a few days left just a few until we go home I slammed some megawatt HD knuckle sandwich this is actually my favorite flavor and I just take it straight to the face and it tastes good so yeah you should try it I took a bunch of that too I love that stuff yeah, that's our go-to when we're feeling pretty tired. So we're gonna go in there and hit shoulders and chest, um, get a good workout in, maybe record something, and we'll see you guys in the next clip. Peace. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what the hell is happening? Were you filming just yes. now? Yes. Oh. We just got home from the gym. Oh god. Apparently Thor racked Brandon real quick. With his tail. <laughs> Ow. And then he headbutted me. They're really excited that we're home. But uh, oh. we got home and I was like sitting there. Not complaining. Well, I guess I was complaining, but I had a bad workout and then I was like, wait, why did I have a bad workout or what makes me think that I had a bad workout? And it's because with everything I was doing, I was failing. So then I realistically thought about it and if I was able to do everything and strong on everything and I was able to do every weight and I never failed, then would that be a good thing? I don't think so. Right, babe? No. You had a good workout. Yeah, so I don't know. For some reason, all the failure today, which I can't hold my phone, um, it like made me discouraged, but in reality, it's a good thing that I was failing because that means my muscles were going to failure, and that's a good thing. It is a good thing. Right, babe? Arrgh. Hold on. Now you get the full effect. So, yeah, don't be discouraged if you're failing in your workout. That's what you're supposed to do. Just push through it, and you'll come out stronger on the other end. So, I gotta go eat. I'm like, a little blood sugar or something. Bye! Look what I am, guys! Ninja Turtle! It's pizza time! Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles! Time for pizza, 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 pizza! <laughs> that meme on Instagram. Pizza, 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 pizza! <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to look it up. You almost made me inhale pre-workout and cough and I'm just wearing a super nerdy Superman shirt where he looks ginormous I wish I had all those gains it's pretty sour <laughs> it's usually not but it like I breathed and it went everywhere that's what happened to me too so we're going to work out happy Halloween everyone happy Halloween we're not doing the typical Halloween thing and handing out candy to little kids in our neighborhood which we'll probably do when we get home. I was like, because we're jerks or no, what? No, we're probably going to do that when we get home. Um, We don't have candy. We're yes, not we got to go buy no, some. We're not going to buy some. We're going to go home and snuggle with our boys, probably watch something on Netflix or something. 
because we've been busy all day. We were up at 5.40 this morning. Just another day for us, really. Um, and it's week four of our wedding shredding little series that we're doing. So this is the last, this is, might be the last video, I'm not sure, but this is the last week of our wedding shredding. And it's been going awesome. Um, we're really excited. It's been really good for us to do this together, I think. Yeah, it's made it a lot easier, especially waking up in the morning to go do fast cardio and everything. Normally I'd be like, oh, you know what? I'm just gonna stay here, but she motivates me extra and it's been a lot of fun. And I know for me, um, because like in prep and stuff, I would always have to go do fast cardio on my own. It honestly was such a drag most of the time. And I think I hated it because I had to leave him and the boys, but with him coming with me, it's mm -hmm. like, that's like our thing in the morning and it's not because we need to do fasted cardio i think we both enjoy it right and it's just the routine now it's we wake yeah. up we do fasted cardio we come home have coffee eat breakfast and that's just what we do that's how we start our morning every day and it's awesome i love it yeah it gets us like motivated and like awake and you know the endorphins feeling good so it's more so just a routine than anything at this point um so i'm really glad we did this little shredding thing because it got us into a really good routine yeah so. And we've only got like a week left. Literally one week from today is our wedding day. It's pretty exciting stuff. So excited. <sighs> Bye, we're gonna go Later, with Later guys. What's going on YouTube? Thank you guys for joining us for the last episode of Wedding Shredding. This was on Halloween. I hope you all had a wonderful Halloween. We got a few clips in here for you. I was doing legs. Brandon was doing back, I believe. Um, so here I'm just doing good mornings. I made this a tri-set. It was good mornings, stiff leg deadlift, and sumo squats. Um, and I was doing 20 reps of each, 20 to 25. But just for the recording, I think I did like 10 or 12 of each just to kind of show you guys real quick. Um, so yeah, I hope you all had a great Halloween. You all stayed safe and got back to your routine on the next day. Um, I'm actually in Houston right now while I'm editing this video. We worked all day on the wedding venue yesterday, uh, Wednesday, November 4th. <laughs> um, we worked all day getting everything set up and it's finally all coming together. I cannot tell you guys how excited we are. Um, it's just like, I feel like I'm in shock that this day is actually coming and now I'm two days away from getting married to the most amazing man that I've ever met. <laughs> um, it's just so surreal and uh, it's been really cool to kind of share this last four weeks with you. Um, I am going to get some video while we're there um, at, <laughs> at our wedding, um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just, I don't even know. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what I'm feeling or thinking right now. <laughs> Um, if you have gotten married before and you have any advice for me or anything, feel free to comment down below. Um, I really, I'm not stressed about any details. Everyone keeps saying like, you know, don't stress about the details. And I totally agree, but I am so just not concerned with anything at this point. Um, I expect pretty much everything to go wrong. So anything that does go right is going to be kind of like a little plus, you know? So, um, I'm just excited to honestly just get married and be finally be married to him so I know everything else will fall into place anything that doesn't I probably won't even know or care about it at that point so um just kind of trying to relax as best as I can um like I said I'm not stressed I'm just like I don't even know how to explain this emotion let me know if you guys know what I'm talking about for those of you that are married <laughs> um I don't know. I, I'm going to lose it on my wedding day. I'm not even going to lie. I'm probably going to be crying the entire time. But anyways, <laughs> I hope you're enjoying this video footage. I just went on off on a little rant there. Um, I am doing stiff leg deadlift on this machine, which I have not done before, and I actually really liked it, so go ahead and give it a shot. Just make sure that you don't feel any strain whatsoever on your neck. When I was looking at this footage, it doesn't look the best, but if you watch, my head is in line with the rest of my back, so... Uh, like my actual spine. So just make sure if you feel any strain on your neck at all to readjust and if you can't find the right positioning for you, maybe don't do that. This was actually a superset. So as you're seeing right now, I'm doing the reverse squats that I always do on this one. And that was supersetted with the stiff leg deadlift movement. So that's about it for this video footage. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next workout clip.
Happy Sunday, everyone. Making my morning omelet. I'm making my egg white omelet, and I'm putting in some lean ground turkey meat, Italian seasoned by Genio, some turkey breast, and a bunch of peppers and onions. So anytime that I have egg whites, if I want to make it taste better, I just add other proteins into it, like turkey meat or chicken or whatever meat you prefer. Omelet coming along nicely. And the finished product, I have egg whites, peppers, turkey, turkey meat, and toast with some coffee. And I took two bites out of my toast because I'm mature like that. Happy Sunday, YouTube. What's Jamie. going on, guys? We uh, got up and did our fasted cardio this morning, did our regular breakfast and reading after, and now we're headed to church. Um, but I wanted to tell you guys about these Nature Valley bars. They're the sweet and salty ones. Um, Brandon has always been obsessed with these and demanded that we get them. Um, and the macros really are not great on them, especially because it's a tiny bar, but it is so good. It's totally worth it's it. It's so good. It's so worth it. So sweet and salty Nature Valley. I think it's like nine fat, 21 carbs, right? I think it's like eight fat, 20 carbs. I think it's nine. Now we have to figure that out. Now it's a debate. Now it's a debate. Dang it, it's eight. How are, are you right? Yeah, what are the carbs? Dang it. I think it's 20. It probably is. Oh my gosh, he's right. Well, I always overestimate just to make sure. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, they're just really good and I had to share that with you guys. So we will uh, update you guys later. Bye. Oh man. We're at Kohl's trying to buy some luggage and they're trying to sell us this crap for three hundred dollars. Three hundred bucks. Who spends three hundred dollars? How Who much is this? Anyone? Hundred dollars. <laughs> it's like as long as my cord, and it's a hundred dollars. You know what? You can suck it. Okay, you know what though? Did it for facet cardio. It's our last full day here in California before we head to Texas for the wedding, and then Cabo for the honeymoon. So we're gonna finish it strong. We're about an hour late than our normal, normal routine because I didn't sleep last night. So I laid in bed a little longer because um, I did fall asleep finally at like five this morning. So that's it, we're gonna go do cardio and uh, we're gonna meal prep too. So we'll probably show you guys what we end up meal prepping to take with us. Everyone, so we're finishing packing for Houston. You can see in our six pack bag, we have a huge gallon bag of chicken, another bag of chicken, uh, sauteed veggies on the bottom, a bunch of spinach and lettuce, and then turkey meat. So all I do is I zip this up the night before, and then I take it and throw it in the fridge. The fridge is so empty right now, um, which is good because we're gonna be gone for about two weeks. But I put it in the fridge so that everything stays cold overnight. And then in the morning, I will put all of my supplements. I have my Bliss, my Thyro Drive, my OptiCore, a bunch of protein. Um, let's see. And my first form backpack, I'm bringing a whole jug of CTC, duh, James. My shaker cup, wallet, uh, my computer, just some other stuff in there. This stylish airport pillow. Um, and then I wanted to show you guys, I'm making my spaghetti squash. I don't know if I've showed YouTube or not, but I love making spaghetti squash. I just chop them up in half, spray them with, I can't believe it's not butter spray, which is zero calories, and then sprinkle with cinnamon. And I cook them uh, like this at 400 degrees for about an hour. I actually never time it. I just, as soon as I take it out and I can scrape away all the little spaghettis, then I know that it's ready. So... I'm gonna scrape all of those into a huge bag and pack it with the rest of everything. We made some brownies for the dog sitters slash our best friends and uh, some bars, leaving those for them. So that's it, trying to get everything last minute packed. Just got this new scale. Uh, it was on our wedding registry and one of my best friends got it for us, Priscilla. So thank you, Priscilla. We're gonna be bringing that with us um, and we'll probably do a last vlog in a little bit here. So just wanted to update you guys. 
Alright you guys, this is the last workout footage for this video. Here I'm doing some cable pull downs. Um, this is in my dad's gym in Houston. Uh, this is actually at our house. <laughs> Pretty sweet. He has a full gym set up. Um, so anytime I'm traveling, I usually try and do a full body circuit. Um, so you'll see, for example, in the last video when I was in the Grange, um, I shared some workouts where I just kept going for a certain amount of time um, without stopping. That's pretty much what I did here too. I was just hitting every muscle group. I did back, shoulders, biceps, triceps. I did glutes. Um, here I'm doing the sumo squats. I also did sumo deadlift, uh, jump squats, jump lunges, and I was actually really sore from this workout so it's funny how you know you think that you're doing just a 30 minute quick effective workout and you are but it actually makes you more sore than your you know two hour leg day that you have sometimes so um you know even if you're not traveling maybe try to change it up and do one of these workouts where it's just a you know set your timer for 30 minutes and kill it for 30 minutes uh without stopping or taking breaks you know unless you need to like really breathe um, so yeah, this workout went really well. Um, this was after traveling and flying all day long. I was like, you know what, I'm just going to go in there and hit some cardio. Um, and then of course I did cardio and was like, you know what, I need to lift. <laughs> so, uh, lifting always makes me feel a lot better. And actually I put this on my Snapchat, but anytime I'm lifting and I'm in pain, I just remind myself that that's just stress leaving my body. So pain is a good thing, but, um, that's it. We're going to go ahead and say goodbye to you guys in this next clip. Thank you so much for all of your support. What's up you guys? What's going on? So this is the last episode of Wedding Shredding. Thank you guys so much for following. We've really enjoyed sharing our wedding prep with you guys. We're here in Houston right now. We're about to head out to my dad's house in the Grange. So we're gonna finish up whatever's left that we gotta do, kind of organize things, figure out where the tables are going, all that stuff. Uh, it's been awesome like being in touch with you guys, being part of the YouTube channel and getting to read all the comments. Uh, you guys are awesome. I really appreciate everything that you've said about us and about Emily, we love all the support. So thank you guys so much. Yeah, we really have just enjoyed connecting with you guys, you know, together. We read all the comments together. Uh, we respond to the comments together. So thank you guys for your support along this wedding prep. Um, and also just a quick reminder, I did make the Ravish Sands top 50 for the cover model search. Uh, super excited about that and I would really appreciate your support. All you have to do is go to their Instagram page I'll link it down below and like my photo and my video and if you feel like you want to leave a comment and Say why you think I'd be a good candidate then I'd really appreciate it um, So that's it. This is the end of wedding shredding. Thank you so much. I think the next time you'll see us uh, We might be married <laughs> <laughs> So uh, I might try and vlog a little bit here and there, but I'll probably sign that to like a bridesmaid because I don't want to have to like stress about it. So thank you guys again, and we will see you guys on the other side of being married. <laughs>